This took an hour to set up. Fuck. Hello people, my name is Fox and welcome to a mass deck update. Four decks in one video. This is gonna get tedious. Yep, I set up my table so I could quickly show you all the small little additions I've made to uh, three decks, as well as a brand new deck right over there. And if you can guess from the thumbnail, it's Mr. Furry Man himself. First, let's start off with Balan. Been getting a lot of really good suggestions for Balan. Uh, a good suggestion that I got was to take out Fire Shrieker, because there was no point for it. I, I agree, there was no point for it. <laughs> I don't know why I put Fire Shrieker in there. It's just kind of a card I put in every deck be out of a habit. Um, but four new cards that I did add were... Oh, look at my long, hairy arm. My god, that is weird. Some new cards that did get in here were Argentum Armor. No one suggested that, but I decided to put it in here just off the fact that it's insanely good. I don't have to pay the equip cost. It's plus six, plus six, and wow, it just blows up a permanent. Uh, Pure Steel Paladin, that was a card on my wants list, and I ended up picking it up. Very good for this deck. Definitely needed. Cigar Aid, just you need it for the deck. Uh, equipments have flash that's insanely broken and they auto equip when they come in it's for one mana it's such a good card and i took out route and put a wrath of god old school with dead people on it uh, yeah the rest of the deck uh pretty much stayed the same i believe i took out a path of ancestry in lieu of another planes uh just for you know for no real reason but yeah the rest of the deck is pretty much the same I will be updating the deck list on Tapped Out, so if you want to go check that out, the link is in the description. Chromium! Got a lot of good suggestions for Chromium. Uh, people were telling me that you could run this creature list, which I have seen a list for that. It's a very good list. I don't want to run it creature list. I prefer to run it uh, with Chromium and, you know, creatures. Uh, Sovereigns of Lost Solara has been a bomb card in this deck. It has won me pretty much most of my games. Um, but there are some additions. First off, I took out my signed Bruna and put in the Bruna from the Commander decks because I want to put my signed Bruna back in the in the uh, in the frame. I'd rather not play it. So there we go with the brand new border. Uh, Umbra Mystic. My friend Frank actually suggested this card for me, and it is a bomb good card. It makes all uh, enchantments totem armor, or all auras totem armor. Winds of Wrath. That was a suggestion. Very good suggestion. Every en non enchanted creature is destroyed. Plea for Guidance, that was the one I put in here, just to get more auras out. And then Octopus Umbra, because I love it! I can literally make Chromium Zoidberg, but you know, deadly Zoidberg. Really, really deadly Zoidberg. Let's just scoot over here, I'll show off that deck in a minute. Let's go on to the Plopper deck. So I haven't updated this Plopper deck in quite a while, and it's gone through a massive amount of changes. I... I don't remember if I filmed the new video uh, for this version of Popper because my old version of Popper was just using Spellheart Chimera as the main commander. The new version has a second commander, Adelise, a Cinderwind. So I don't remember if I've done a video. If I have, I'm an idiot. Um, but either way, I have changed this deck a bit. I've added some newer cards. Thanks to Commander 2018, I was able to add these three cards. Portent, aka Poor Man's Ponder. Treasure Hunt, uh... Just wanted to. And Dreamcash. I just never had a Dreamcash. Uh, added a Firebrand Archer off the suggestion of somebody. Uh, Ninja Deep Hours. That was just an addition for me. I just kind of wanted to put it in there. Uh, not much else new in here. Again, this will be a list that you can catch online. I will put the full list in tapped, on Tapped Out. Uh, this deck is crazy fun. It wins way more than it should. Uh, when it's playing as Spellheart Chimera, it wins a lot quicker. Uh, but when you're playing it as Adelise, it's a little bit slower since you don't keep the buffs. It just gets buffed for every spell you cast on that turn. So it's a little more janky, but still fun. Still fun regardless. And yeah, every card in this deck is a common. Uh, I think the total cost of the deck is just under $40. So, you know, budget friendly. Now we're on to a new deck. Lord Wingrace, a.k.a. Furry Vengeance. That's both a furry joke and a really bad movie starring Jim Norton and Patrice O'Neill. Oh, and Brendan Fraser, who's, you know, f getting the vengeance. Uh, yeah, this deck is brand new. I've tested it once, and after I tested it once, I made like 14 changes. Uh, I kind of don't know where to take this deck. I, I wanted to make it uh, similar to when I played Mogus, i.e. a wheel theme. 
um, but at the same time very land heavy as well so I'm gonna start I'm gonna keep the wheels in it and I'm probably gonna keep the uh, reverberate effects in it as well but I'm also gonna be going for a mass like trample deck similar to my how my yeast on deck wins via crater hoof but without crater hoof um, you got some token generators so we got Omnoth Locust Rage and uh, Rampaging Bayloth, there's some token generation. Arachnogenesis for some smaller token generation. Uh, I got some crazy shit in here. Genesis Wave, Collective Voyage, Boundless Realms. I probably should mention I'm only playing basic lands for the most part. I'm playing a couple utility lands, but no dual lands, just basics. Why? Because you can. You don't have to play dual lands in every deck. I don't want to throw $600 in land mana just to fucking make this deck work. The basic lands work just as well. Uh, yesterday, I pulled off some insanely crazy combo with uh, Scape Shift. Uh, with Scape Shift, Splendid Reclamation, and Gitrog Monster. It was fun. Uh, fun fact, Gitrog Monster is every instance of a land sacrifice. So, not every instance. Every uh, instance of lands getting sacrificed. So, when you Scape Shift with Gitrog, you don't draw that many. You draw one. But... When you Splendid Reclamation, it's a lot of fun. Um, and then I had Omnath on the field as well, so I had like 24 uh, Elementals, and then I just waited one turn and killed everyone with Triumph of the Horde. So this deck is pretty minimally focused right now, but it's it, it looks like as I start building it over time, it's going to get a lot more crazy and fun. And those were some small updates for my decks. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you have any suggestions. I love it when you guys give me ideas for decks because you're smarter than me and I've been playing Magic too little to really know every card ever printed. You guys have the brains. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you later with more videos and an important update video at the end of the month. Until then, I really, I really resisted the urge to make a Yif joke.